But that's that for that game. And we do want to send a solemn one out to the Arizona Cardinals. They did win this week, uh, got their first win of the season against Cincinnati Bengals. And we'll get to the Bengals in a minute. But the Cardinals owner, Bill Bidwell, passed away uh, earlier this week at the age of 88. But he was the owner of that team for several years. Uh, I believe the Bidwell family, to my knowledge, has owned the team for 80, 80 plus. His son, Michael, has been in the Stephen Jones role for several years now in preparation for the takeover officially. So he's going to be in full control now. There's not going to be any sort of uh, power struggle in there, at least right away, for the Cardinals. Uh, so uh, our condolences go out to them. But that did make me think of something here that we've talked about a little bit. Uh, people talk about the, the, the Mount Rushmore of things, the Mount Rushmore of this, that, and the other. So I, I pose the question to you, what is the Mount Rushmore of ownership in the NFL? I have two names that you have to have to start with. Uh, the t- other two are up to interpretation, but, w- but what is your take here? <laughs> well, I can't separate being a Dallas fan from a lot of things, and this is one of them. And so, I like Jerry Jones. I think he's a good owner. Um, Has he had some uh, issues about inserting himself? Maybe 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 so. Maybe don't trade those one number ones for Roy Williams. Yeah, yeah. But but overall, he has been a pretty good GM, I think. Um, uh, And certainly, he's been good for the NFL as a business. I 100%. He is, uh, uh, he is, taken the lead since he's been in the league of uh, making them everyone profitable not just the Dallas Cowboys so I, I think Jerry belongs on the Mount Rushmore of I agree with you Jerry Jones Rushmore. is one of those two names that I have to have up there because it, it, success yeah importance growth of the game all those things play in a little bit here to a certain extent and Jerry Jones has been successful with three championships you can argue about them whatever not every owner has has one Jerry has three Importance overall, the Dallas Cowboys and Jerry Jones are almost synonymous. And growth of the game, Cowboys are the most valuable franchise. The NFL since the 90s has exploded. The 90s Cowboys are at least part, part reason for that. The business deals that the NFL has made since then are, are impressive. If you remember the anthem controversy a couple of years ago where he had the entire team kneel together before the anthem, stroke of brilliance. I mean, that really helped quell the tide in Dallas, and they went on from that season as a stronger team unit for it. So Jerry, I have to say 100%. My number two name, who I put at number one here, the head here, got to be Al Davis. Al Davis, owner of the Oakland Raiders, owned the team for 40 years plus. And I, I don't know, think the league would like Al being on the Mount Rushmore. Of, I don't think but, the league would like that either. But Al Davis, <laughs> only man in history to be an assistant coach, a head coach, a commissioner with the AFL, which is why the league wouldn't want him on this list, and an owner of the team here. Uh, first guy to take a black quarterback in the first round for importance overall relevance. Uh, Davis would go to pretty much anywhere to find a guy. Guys like Lyle Alzado, uh, the corner. Uh, uh, plenty of plenty of players that uh, they would take in that nobody else would, the Raiders, because Al Davis, as he said himself, cared more about winning than anything. Uh, he was always fighting the league. You know, the move to Los Angeles, yeah. and I'm going to move right back. Uh, he fought with Marcus Allen, and then they drafted Bo Jackson just to spite him. <laughs> Uh, but three championships, five appearances, and, you know, all, he fired Gruden, which was the wrong move, and all at once the balloon went out and they lost 11 straight games and they didn't make the playoffs again until he passed away. But I, I don't think that the NFL, I don't think you can think Raiders of thinking Al Davis even eight years after his passing, if you were around and to know he was the owner. Uh, and few teams are synonymous with a song like the, the Autumn Wind. Few teams are the Silver and Black or the Star, like the Cowboys and Raiders. I don't think you can have this without having Al Davis on that right now, Rushmore. Well, what do you think? I wouldn't argue with that. I, I, I'd go along with that. So the other spots are interesting, and I think one spot you have to give it to Robert Kraft just because he's won six championships. Is that is that a requirement, do you it's think? It's overwhelming on the championship side. So uh, probably you're going to put him up there. And he's been... Um, despite his missteps along the way, just like everyone has. But, oh, okay, uh, his missteps are a little interesting <laughs> lately compared to some of the other owners we have on this list. But Well, but still, um, I, the last two, I would think, are, are going to be tougher. You can make a case for a whole lot of people. Um, um, because I don't know that, people. because Ed, I don't mean to diminish anyone's importance, but I don't think you can say in, by any means that Robert Kraft has been nearly as important to the game of football as Al Davis or Jerry Jones have been to the game of football. Okay, that's fair. But as far as championships, you have six. I think we have to put them up there. Personally, what would you think? Is Al, ha- or not Al, does uh, Kraft have to be on the list? I think so with six championships. All right, so I spent a longer amount of time than I care to admit thinking of who owns the Packers, and then I realized, and then I moved on mentally. 
So, do you ha- do you throw one out there for the older fans? Do you put George Halas, the Bears, and their early successes in the the, the Mike Singletary, the, the Dick Butkiss, the Mike Ditka, all, all the names that became commentators after their playing days? When we were talking about it, Halas is the one that comes to my mind. Um, just by name recognition, I, I really can't tell you uh, very much about him, but I know that he's been... Well, uh, to my knowledge... Good owner um, for a long time. The only two owners or had been a good that owner. have had uh, their name or their initials on the on the uniform uh, for longer than just the year they passed away are Al. He still has his Al on the back of the Raiders helmet. And for my entire life and longer, if you look at the side of the Bears jersey, you'll see that GH, George Hallis, for right. him on the name there. So I think you have to go George Hallis. So are we saying that the official kickoff commentary going for two, owners Mount Rushmore, Al Davis, Jerry Jones, Robert Kraft, George Hallis. That's where we're going with. All right, then. Let us know down in the comment section on this one. This is the one, the comment I want to see. Who is on your NFL owners Mount Rushmore going forward? What names do we get wrong? Is it possible we, we got all four wrong? I don't think any list out there can have all four of those names off that list. What do you think? I wouldn't think so, but uh, we'll hear from them. From is it, uh, could it be old, uh, the old owner of the, the Buccaneers when they went 0-16 and then underpaid Doug Williams and sent him to Washington. <laughs> Drafted Bo Jackson and then Bo left before he played a snap for him. You know, you look at the, the Buccaneers players for that era there, you have a lot of guys that were pretty talented as long as they went somewhere else right away. <laughs> well, that has been the return episode of Going for Two where we never kick the extra point. Any final thoughts about the NFL heading into this next week? Thursday night game is, is the uh, Patriots and the Giants. Uh, Daniel versus Tom. David versus Goliath, Ollie versus Frazier, Magic versus Bird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fair enough. This has been Going for Two, where we never kick the extra point. Thanks for watching. <laughs>